Afternoon folks, welcome back to the Winter Salon here at Madness Manor. Welcome to the Brompton B75 project bike, which you've all been familiar with over the last few weeks with various videos. Remember, we've got the Kuzak bars, we've got the retro Sermi Archer free speed trigger, a nice retro, retro bell there. We've got the Swelby one tires, the Brompton Lab folding mud guards, super light pedals that bounce, probably wasted on a B75 in some respects, but on the other hand, why not? We've got the super light P-line saddle. <clears throat> We've got the 4439 double chainring. What the what that does, the 44 is nice and standard. As you know, I have hills to conquer. I live on a hill, so we can drop it onto the 39. And essentially what it does is it gears step down from third, second to first. It actually steps it down one further to a lower first. So stepping back up the gears, you're stepping from the lower first to second, which was a pretty equivalent to the original first, and then third, which was equivalent to the original second. So it gives me the best of both worlds on difficult terrain to ride a second gear on either the 39 or the 44 chain ringing, depending on how fast I want to go. And even then, on the 44 in third gear, we have to cruise along at 12, 14 miles an hour, more than fast enough for anywhere I go. The B75, as you all know, harks back to the days when Andrew Ritchie designed the Brompton bicycle. And this really has the only bike built in that memory of 1975 and those drawings that Andrew did and started to bend metal in his flat in opposite the Brompton Oratory. So for me, this is the this is the most important limited edition bike, Brompton, and the most relevant limited edition bike to 1975. And you all know my love for the B75 and the follow-on A line, which is on its third. So this is its third generation with the latest I line. I believe soon to go to a fourth generation. The O-line actually now comes with the super light front wheel. It's still held at the same price as it has been for 14 months. Anyway, this is going to be in London with me from Thursday. We'll be down in Chiswick. We'll be down near Putney Bridge. We'll be down also down at King's Cross. Uh, I'm down there for... Uh, until... Tuesday so if you're about in London catch up I caught up with one of your guys last week fantastic me I shall go and be going to Brompton Junction to do a road comparison this is a good comparison to make because this is my benchmark now for hills really so to do a road comparison between this and the 12 speed p-line stroke t-line because um that's probably, I may go that way, I don't know, who knows, but there's, there's ideas in the pipeline. We've got the uh, P-Line saddle on here, because it was just kicking about, it's got the penty clip, so it's better for the adjustment for, for long rides. And that's all I've got to say, other than, if you're about at the weekend, give me a nudge, and we'll catch up. I shall make this video live in a couple of days' time, and today is... <clears throat> probably Monday so I should make the video live on I'll make it live on Wednesday evening that'll give you a chance to see it and if you're about I'm down there Chiswick I, I'm, I, I rode through Chiswick a year ago along Chiswick High Street and I thought I want to be here so I'm in the Premier in Chiswick on Thursday night purely because I want to cruise down Chiswick High Street have a mosey around, 
probably drop down to the Thames and swoon around Chiswick for the evening. If you're there, be there or you're square. Thank you guys. See you on the next video. Excuse me whilst I slither by, turn off the uh, camera.